Hello everyone, whoever's watching this video. Um, I've been making a lot of these kinds of videos because I find them to be a lot um, less emotionally straining and labor intensive than some of the other videos that I tend to make. So these are a nice um, way to be creative without uh, going completely nuts. So I went to the Japanese supermarket in New Jersey, one of them, and um, there was a toy store that had remits, so I bought one. I only bought one because they were 13 whole dollars, so I only got one. This is the cutest they had. This is the Capybara-san cooking remit. I don't even know really what this character is. It's just cute, and it's some kind of some kind of animal. So I'm gonna open this one, and you can get um, hamburg steak, something, cutlet. That one's cute. Custard sandwich. I think that's an omelet. I can't see on this monitor. Uh, ramen and a pancake. These are all really cute. Unlike the real Kuma, I would actually not be disappointed with any of these. Which one do I want? I want... The sandwich is cute. Curry one's kind of weird. I don't really like the pancake. They're all pretty good. I like the, uh, the uh, cutlet one. And these apparently have been opened already because they removed the gum for some stupid reason. Maybe like a choking, choking hazard type reason. Okay. And <gasps> I got the one I wanted. Holy crap. I'm like totally, totally happy with this one. The rice, the bowl, the pork chop, the cabbage, a little plate, and another little plate. And I just ate something like this when I was there. Ooh, and a lid. So let's assemble this. We have a tray and then a plate that goes on top of the tray. This and the cabbage and the tomato. All right. What? Where? Why are there two bowls? Pro cutlet. Look how freaking cute this is. Capybara san katsudon or katsu pork katsu. Whatever. I'm just wondering what goes in this bowl? Why is it empty? Oh, it's soup. Here is the soup. Soup. And miso soup. Miso soup. These things are so small. Miso soup. And even a little freaking chopstick. And I bought a couple of other things. I guess you could call this a haul. I don't really like haul videos because it's kind of like, look what I like to waste my money on. But I bought some other stuff. Here is a capybara uh, keychain. And this one also has been opened, I guess, because it came with gum. But yeah, these are really cute. And they're like little keychain type things. And these are the ones you can get. And they only had three kinds, so I got this one because I thought it was the cutest. So I'm gonna open it. And these are nice because you can see the ones that you have. Got him. A little pamphlet, whatever. If anyone knows what the deal is with this character, I mean, you can easily look it up, but it's kind of easier if someone else just tells me. Ah, oh, this is so cute. Look how, look how cute this is. And the pink, pink ball chain. Oh, it's so adorable. Look at how detailed. So cute. This one was also kind of $11. Like, I don't know why uh, I feel the need to purchase things like this. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cute. I don't even know where I'm going to put it because, you know, cell phone straps, they don't really have places to put them on a phone anymore. But this is like, oh, it's awesome. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my god. So cute. Then I bought some with the capybara theme. I don't even really like grape candy or gummies necessarily, but this packaging, look at this packaging. You would buy this also, I'm sure. And at the bottom, look at that sticker. Look at that little guy. Look at that little guy. Um, and then I just kind of bought these uh, 
porcupine quill candies. I don't know what these are. They're supposed to be liquidy in the center, but they're kind of just mushy in the center. And I got passion fruit mango and cherry. Yeah, I just love to go crazy at the Asian market. I just had the soda for the first time today. It was like a light Sprite, but they also make it in two candies. And this is mango flavor because that is all they had. And this is gum that's like kind of, it has powder in the middle that fizzes and it's kind of unpleasant because it makes your mouth foam, but the flavor is pretty good and I, I ate some already. Then I don't know what these are, some Coke thing with stuff in the middle. I haven't tried them yet, maybe I'll open them now. Oh, they're weird. They're like, what? Or ew, they're like mochi almost, ew. I don't really like, ooh. Oh, I think this is gum. It is gum with goo. And then, last thing, got these special Cheetos that are this dish. It's a Japanese dish's flavor. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just not even gonna bother. But it's like a cold noodle dish with a sesame broth and all these other condiments like ham and whatever. And these were really good too. Never seen them before. And it was nice to get them at the supermarket so it's not like something I have to order offline and pay like $15 for a bag of Cheetos. And that's it. That's all I bought. And then this guy again. Wow, look at that. Oh my god. This is like the first time I've actually gotten one that I really liked. So we got the bowl of rice. Tiny little bowl of rice with a face on it. It has a face on it, yes. Tiny, tiny bowl of rice. Then we have miso soup or whatever. Soup. And look at these chopsticks. Look at this. Mini, 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 mini chopsticks. 